Hey guys, it's me, Matt, and today I'm gonna to be testing out some online school hacks that may help you out that I found on TikTok. Let me try these out, that way if they don't work, you don't get in trouble. Let's go. All right, let's get right into it. Also, I noticed I need a new camera, so if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below and I'll take a look at it. And let's get started. How to get Google Forms answers. All right. How to get every answer correct on a Google Forms quiz. When you're taking your quiz, press Control U on your keyboard and this will pop up. Scroll all the way down until you find this. That's the question and the answer is right next to you. All right, I'm already a little skeptical of this one, but we'll give it a try. I created a test quiz on Google Forms and I have three questions on there and you can see for the first question, the right answer is gonna be the third answer. So the hack says we hit Control U, get our source page, scroll all the way down till we find the first question. Here it is. And right to the right of it should be the right answer. And that says wrong. So that is not correct. Actually, the right answer is a second or maybe third one down. So this hack does not work. Mm. Don't trust it. Go study. Google's not going to let you find the answers just by simply hitting control U. I'm sorry. All right, rough start. Let's see if this one works. Your 10 page essay due in 30 minutes? Don't worry, I got you. Go to corruptmyfile.com, drag in any type of file, and once it finishes corrupting it, save it and turn it in. When your teacher tries to open it, they'll see this error message. Now your teacher thinks it's their fault and they'll ask you to resubmit it, giving you even more time. Okay. <laughs> Seems a little unethical, but we'll try it. So we gotta create our homework. I'm just gonna do this. All right, let's save it. We're gonna corrupt my file. I see that TikTok is already the second recommended search. It's not a good sign for teachers. All right, let's find our file here. Okay, won't even let me click it. Let's just drag it in then. I'm dragging my homework in and I guess we hit the download button. All right, so I downloaded my homework. Let's see what happens when I open it. Well, that just <laughs> didn't do anything. Uh, maybe because it's a notepad file. Let's try a Word document. All right, create a blank one. This is my new homework. Now we'll save it. All right, we'll save it. And let's try to do this one now. All right, hit the download button, and hopefully this is corrupt. Hey, okay, it actually worked. You just need to make it work for Word documents, I guess. Um, yeah, like I said, this is unethical. Your teacher's gonna get a little uh, skeptical of you if you keep turning in homework that's corrupt. So maybe only use it once if you want, but and don't tell your friends, because if your whole class is turning in corrupt homework, then something's going on. Number three, what's an illegal shortcut that you learned in school that feels illegal to know? What's a shortcut that you learned in school that feels illegal to know? Go to a website that has stuff blurred out, highlight what you want to unblur, right click, hit inspect element, find where it says blurred, and change it to none. Then just hit enter, and boom, it's not blurred anymore. Good old inspect element, feels like a hacker. All right, so I found my website. It has some blurred text at the bottom. And before I even try this, I will mention that I don't think a lot of websites actually do it this way. They don't blur out text anymore. They just hide stuff behind a paywall, which this website's kind of doing, but for some reason they blur text out too. So we'll highlight some text that is blurred. We're gonna inspect. You can't see my right click, but we're inspecting it. And here's where it says blurred. Now it looks like all this text is in its own class, so it's gonna take a while to unblur everything, but we'll try this one line. Hey, and it worked but we only got one line out of it. So if you want to keep reading, you have to go to each line and unblur each one. Not the most practical way. Maybe you should just become a member. I don't know, but I guess technically it does work. All right, let's see what we got now. Looks like we have a MacBook and we're pointing at the FN key or the command key. What is the point of this button? Like I'm literally clicking it and it doesn't even do anything. I'm actually kind of upset. I just figured this out today, watch. So I didn't think this button did anything and then I double tapped it and then the voice control came up and then it's literally, what the, what the, what? 
Okay, so I can't speak for MacBooks. I don't really, I don't own one, never owned one, so I don't know what all the those function keys do. But for Windows, we have the same ability. All you have to do is press the Windows key and H, and this thing will pop up at the top. And now you see I can just talk and it'll write it down for me. And if you ever want to add like a period or something, just say the word period and it'll turn it into a period. We can do comma, backspace, select all, delete. Yeah, so there's a lot of different commands you can try. And uh, yeah, it's good for school, I guess, if you don't want to type and just want to dictate your entire paper. This passes. Also, before we go to the next one, I just noticed in the top right, you do have this dictate button, which I'm assuming does the same thing, and it gives you an alternate shortcut. Hello, testing, testing, testing. Hello, testing, testing, testing. So yeah, you can see it works there too. All right, we have our last one here. Let's see what we got. Here's a life hack for online school or school in general. Say you have a school assignment that you need to watch a YouTube video for, like in order to answer questions or something. You're gonna pull up the YouTube video that you need to watch for your school assignment, and then you're gonna go down here to these three dots and click open transcript. And then the whole transcript is gonna open up. Once you've opened the transcript up, you're gonna go down to your keyboard and click CRL and F at the same time. CRL. Once you click CRL and F at the same time, this bar is gonna pop up, and this is where you can type in any keyword that has to do with your question. Get the Say Roblox my question is, going. what is the smallest living unit? I'm just going to type in keywords like smallest living or unit in this bar. Once you type in your keyword, it's going to say how many times the word is said throughout the page. And you can scroll and find where it's highlighted. So it's the smallest living unit. And there's the answer to my question. Hope this helps. We'll see if it helps. Alright, so I pulled up this lecture that looks incredibly boring. And uh, yeah, if you click in the bottom right on the three dots... You have an open transcript, because I'm not about to watch 38 minutes of this guy talk. And uh, yeah, it's an intro to chemistry, so let's just say we're trying to find the chemical symbol for iron. Control F, not CRLF, and we'll type in chemical symbol for iron. Whoops, iron. Here we go, chemical symbol for iron would be I, but it's not exact, actually. If you look on the periodic table, it's FE. All right, so we got the answer. Also, you can click on these, and I believe it takes you to that part of the video if you just want to watch a specific part. Maybe that'll help you out too. So yeah, this hack passes. Congratulations. All right, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed that. Maybe you can put some of these hacks to use in your schooling. And uh, yeah, you already know how YouTube works. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, follow, and the like button. Also, go find me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and maybe Facebook. Do it.